Okay, so this is a, a basic motion in a vertical circle here, and the first concept is uh, if we want the um, the water to stay in the bucket, right? Okay, or the riders not to fall off the ride, et cetera, et cetera, right? Basically, the condition is that at the top, okay, we need this thing to be accelerating downward, which is, of course, toward the center, right? And we need that centripetal acceleration to be greater than greater than or equal to 9.81. Right, and the reason is that that uh, I mean, even though say maybe we were, we're you know, actually our velocity is that way tangentially, right? We are accelerating toward the center. We've got a, a centripetal acceleration um, that's toward the center. In this case, when you're at the top, it's down, um, and that downward acceleration that's bigger than 9.81 keeps the object uh, uh, keeps the water from falling out of this bucket, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So this one's really pretty simple. Uh, we've got the radius, right? And all we do is we just say that the centripetal acceleration, we're going to say the minimum would be that we actually are accelerating down at exactly 9.81, right? So centripetal acceleration is V squared over R, right? And then I'm just going to say that equals 9.81, right? And then our radius is 1.12, so we have V squared over 1.12 is 9.81, right? And then V is going to be the square root of 9.81 times 1.12, right, which is just the square root of A times R, which is, as the pirates would say, the square root of R. I can actually turn on the camera on this. Watch this. R. Okay, so here we go. Just typing that in. We go square root of, oh hey, you gotta turn your calculator on. Uh, the square root of 9.81 times 1.12. And we get our minimum velocity is uh, equals, I get 3.31 as our tangential velocity. Below that velocity, whoops. <laughs> Below that velocity, the water is going to fall out of the bucket, and above that, it'll, it'll, um, at exactly that, the water is actually weightless at that moment, right? And uh, and if we go faster than that, of course, then the water is secure in the bucket, right? Okay, so let's go this one. Okay, so they feel 1.2 g's at the top of the circle, right? Okay. Well, here's the deal with this, right? Let's suppose we're in space, and let's say the ride is actually, let's say, just for example, pulling two Gs, right? That the centripetal acceleration is twice 9.81, so it's 19.62 meters per second squared, right? But if you're in space and there's no gravity, then of course you're going to feel that all the time. But if we put you in a gravitational field, here you've got two Gs, you'd be feeling two Gs outward, right? I'm using the F word here. Centrifugally, you'd feel two Gs, and then there'd be one G down because of gravity. And so you'd feel, if the ride was pulling two Gs, you'd feel one G, right? And then at the bottom, of course, you'd have the same two Gs of centrifugal G-force, right? Plus a G of, um, of gravity, right? So here you'd actually feel three Gs. So in general, what it is is that it's, it's always what the ride, it's always the ride minus a G, at the top and it's always that's supposed to say ride okay and then here it's always at the bottom it's always the ride plus a g right plus one g okay so we can we can solve this thing right if the thing is is reading uh if you feel 1.2 g's at the top right uh, that means the ride really is is 2.2 g's right and then at the bottom we'd feel 3.2 g's right Okay, so uh, how many is it really pulling? Well, it's really pulling 2.2 Gs. And at the bottom, you'd feel 3.2 Gs, right? And then what is their tangential velocity? Well, use what the ride is actually doing, right? So 2.2 Gs. And we got to turn this into meters per second squared, right? Okay, so 2.2 times 9.81 is 21.582. Meters per second squared. Now we've converted g's to meters per second squared, and then we want their tangential velocity. Well, if a is v squared over r, then v is the square root of r. 
<laughs> AR, right? Okay, so it's going to be the square root of, of uh, let's see, A is 21.582. Right? We got to actually do like the uber parentheses, right? Uh, times, uh, let's see, uh, R is uh, 3.75, right? I get that from here, right? And then in our calculator, remember, you got to put that in like uber parentheses, so I'm going square root. I'm just going to do one parenthesis, 21.582, whoops, times uh, 3.75, to the 8.996, right? Okay, and then we have only two sig figs, so we have to actually say uh, 9.0 meters per second. All right, hope that helps.